your opinion, did, was the team really prepared for what they saw coming out of the Toronto half of the court tonight? Uh, it's a good question. Um, I, I thought we were pretty good with our, our scouting reports and stuff like that. And I think, I don't know, maybe because we played Ryerson tough last night, we were pretty happy with our performance. Uh, it just didn't translate tonight. I don't know what it was. Toronto played well. They, they scrapped. They dug everything that we threw at them and took advantage of every mistake. So uh, credit to Toronto. And we, didn't, we had guys that didn't have good matches. And if we have that, we're in trouble. We just don't have the guys that can really come off the bench to do a job. Guys coming off the bench did as tried as hard as they could, mm -hmm. but we, we need our, our guys that I put out there to begin with to perform, or that's what's going to happen. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the decision to start switching up the starting lineup? We had to do something. Uh, we got kicked in the first two sets. Nothing was working. So we have some serious discussions on changes and uh, it's probably the most difficult coaching decisions to do because you want to give guys maybe a second chance but we had to make moves and uh, the guys tried hard that got in there but it just wasn't to be. Uh, what will the team be focusing on as a kind of the main area of improvement over the break? You know what we're going to take a break and get away from volleyball and just relax focus in on school and then gear it up again for the second half and, and see what we can do. We've got to win some big games and try to fight ourselves back into a playoff spot. Um, that, was, that was for a playoff spot. We knew that was a playoff game, so to speak, to, to try to get there. So we got our work cut out for us, but you know we're not giving up and we'll see what we can do. Obviously, you didn't really get the result you guys had hoped for tonight. Uh, in your opinion, what was the biggest challenge for, by the varsity blues? Uh, well, every time we seemed to be running an offense, they seemed to have a guy right where we hit the ball. They were digging up everything. Their defense was incredibly strong. Uh, even their block was well formed. They were getting touches and everything, making basically all of our attacks free balls. And they just had really strong defense tonight. Uh, do you think the team was prepared headed into today's match? Uh, I, th I think we were prepared. We knew what we were up against. Uh, we sort of we didn't look past them by any means, but we had our mindset on Ryerson and wanted to take that game, and then. It seemed like we got kind of caught by surprise against Toronto today. Uh, we did as much preparation as we thought we needed, as we thought we could do, and uh, they just came out fighting and they wanted it more than we did. Uh, is it safe to say that you guys kind of underestimated the varsity blues a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I would say uh, we, we knew it was going to be a fight, we knew it was going to be a long night, but uh, we, de we definitely didn't look past them, but we, we, we underestimated them a little bit. Uh, in your opinion, what was the biggest challenge posed by the varsity blues tonight? Um, they dug the ball very well, um, and I think we had a trouble limit it, limiting our own errors. Um, a lot of errors were happened from the service line and both uh, from a blocking perspective um, that need to change going forward. If we're going to be successful um, at all in the second half, these are the things that need to be addressed and need to change. Uh, well, obviously tonight wasn't the result you guys had hoped for, but there were some very strong points in the Mustang game. You yourself had a very impressive match tonight. Thank you. Uh, overall, what do you think one of the strongest points were from the Mustangs? Um, I think, uh, like I've said before, um, as a team, when the guys were ready to come in off the bench. Uh, we had some guys come in in relief spots, and uh, they did really well in the roles that they did. Um, personal performance to me isn't really a measure of our team success. so. If I go out there and have the game of my life and we're going to get outclassed 3 nothing, it doesn't mean a thing to me. Uh, were there any other players on the floor tonight who you thought had a particularly exceptional game? Um, I think Evan Hammond came in and played really well. Came in for uh, Chris and uh, came in and did exactly what, did, what we needed him to do. Got a couple blocks late in the sets and got a couple kills when we needed to. So I think it was, uh, it was a good thing for us. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep.